Hello Math Attacks here and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the tier 6 Swedish medium tank, the Stritzvan 74, or what we like to call it, the Strav 74. As you can see, my crew, all onto the third skill. It's my crew from my Primo Victoria, so it's the Sabertron band members. The equipment that I like to use on this tank is vents, gun rammer and a gun lane drive. Let's have a look at the battle. Today we're playing on Tundra. It's a standard battle. We've got the 348 matchmaking. We're bottom tier. Today I'm platooned up with my brother, Trev Mass, who's also playing the Strav 74. As you can see, we're heading to the hill. It's generally where the medium tanks go to. This is a little gem of a tank for me. I do really enjoy it. With a gun, you get 148 penetration, 150 damage, alpha damage. It's just a 75 millimeter. The aim and time I've getting down to one and a half seconds. And we get a shot in the 45 TP. Didn't penetrate. The dispersion I've getting to 0.3. And the reload time I've getting down at 4.25 seconds. But the best thing about this gun is 15 degrees of gun depression, which is fantastic. Sneak a shot into the T52. 15 degrees if you get to a ridge line is amazing, especially combined with your narrow profile, which makes you a really hard target to hit. See if we can get anybody over here. We want them to push to that rock and with this gun depression we can just tear them apart. Doesn't look like anybody's going to push there yet. We'll just be a bit patient. Our Trev's down the bottom with a T29 which is holding them back. And a Progetto up here with me. Got some quite good firepower up here. But they've pushed. This is what I wanted. Nice shot into the IS. I'm lit. Didn't penetrate the IS with that shot. See if we can get another one in. Didn't penetrate that 3485 either. Need a clearer shot than that. Project was sneaking down. I'll follow him and see if I can get a shot in. Yep, another shot into the IS and he's been finished off. Pull back while I reload. to push down see if there's any more opportunities a 3485 yep we do get a shot into him he's running it's a Persian here taking a shot missed my shot I'm gonna have to repair that ammo rack it's destroyed me reload time that's repaired did get some assistance on the Persian there which is good Nice shot into the Persian there. Want to try and take his track off. Taking a shot, but I do get the track off him and penetrate. I'll get two shots into his reload. So I, I get the second one in. Come on, T29, hit him. There's some tracky assistance. And there's another shot into him. I'm pulling back. I'm going to push up the hill. Our Trev's just been taken out by the T-43. So I'm gonna go to where he was. See if I can use my gun depression. Get some damage into that T-43. Bit of payback for our Trev. There it is. Gun depression, amazing. Get a shot into him. Can get a second. It's went under us. It's an IS-6 over there. Bridge looks like it's in the weir. Gonna see if I can get a shot in. Got the shot in, but we didn't penetrate. I'm wondering if that T43 is pushing underneath us and appear at the bottom. No, he's not. Is he gonna push up there, that hill? I've got him from behind. Gun depression again. One shot into him. He's not even looking at us. Second shot into him. 
Third shot into him. Silly move by him, really. And we'll finish him off. That was good for us. Easy damage. There's only two tanks left. They were last seen in the far corner. I'll move up to the edge of the ridge. See if they move this way. Didn't spot anything. Have some good support below us. Since I'm using the crew from my Prima Victoria, which must have a radio operator, which this tank doesn't, I haven't been able to boost my view range. So my view range currently is only 375. Probably could use coated optics, but I wanted to maximise the potential of the gun. I do love the voices and the comments from the Sabertron band crew members that have gone this tank. I wanted to show you this replay today. If you're pushing for the Excalibur from the second campaign, the first reward tank, and you're onto the 15th mission, the primary condition is you've got to get a class 1 badge but the secondary condition is you've got to get a master's badge me personally I find it a lot easier getting a master's badge if you're playing tier 6 rather than tier 10 you do get that extra XP for shooting tanks that are levels higher than you so if you're pushing for them I recommend play lower tier tanks I'm a bit wary about pushing around that corner for the Scorpion G. So I'm just waiting for me T29 for support here. And the Pajetto is coming down. So now we're going to do our final push around the corner. Catch them from behind. Nice shot into the Scorpion G. Keep on pushing. Only the Scorpion G left. Oh, Pajetto was there. Can I get another shot in? Yep, another shot. Can we finish him off? Just a little bit too slow. Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was only a Masters, he has Tanker Award. Top of the tree for XP. Second for damage. We made 40,000 credits, plus 4,539 XP. That's due to playing in the platoon, a personal mission payout, Plus an award for the first victory each day, which was a times two. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle. If you're new, please subscribe, little icon, bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs button in the comment section below. Cheers.